Greetings Salutations, it's me James, your BA Sensei, back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at profiling your data in Pandas or Python. So, you have your data, it's all cleaned up. Next thing, you want to send it to your machine learning models, you want to do some data analysis. But before you do that, you need to understand your data through the viewpoint of descriptive statistics. Look at different visualizations, see how the data columns is, relate to each other. Are there any outliers? Is, is there any correlations? Well, this is what EDA is all about, exploratory data analysis. Let me show you how to do it. All right, first thing that you need to do is you need to pip install. So you say pip install and pandas profiling. That should do it. If you look at your pip list, you should have two things. You should have Y data profiling and pandas profiling in there. Once that's done, we need to import the libraries. Say import pandas as pd. Say from pandas profiling import profile report. Let's load the data. So we say data frame pd read csv. And in the previous video, we cleaned data science salary data sets. I'm just going to refer to that. Just look at the description of the video for a link to that. Data science set. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we've read that data in. Let's quickly look at the shape of the data. Just to see how many columns and how many rows. We're sitting with 3,400 rows, eight columns. Let's quick, uh, check a quick sample, DF sample, and we say just randomly grab 10 samples. This is what the data set looks like salary estimates for data scientists. And then you can also run describe. So there's some descriptive statistics for each column. So does a count, does a mean, does a standard deviation, or for each um, numeric column in your data set. To do profiling properly, we're gonna declare a new variable called report. And I'm gonna call profile report, which we imported. So send it the data frame, give it the title, data science salary profile. I'm going to say, okay, so now that generated a profile report, but I'm just going to take the report and send it to a file. This is the cool thing. You can send it to JSON or to an HTML output file. I'm just going to send it to data scientist 3.html because I want to create an HTML version of that and press enter. So now that's going to create an HTML report of my data set in the folder where it's saved. So let's quickly look at the dirty uh, data science clean. So this is your profile report. You've got an overview, alerts and reproduction sections. Then you have your variables. And then at the end, you have your interactions and your correlations, your missing values in the sample. That is the report in a nutshell. So this first section gives you some descriptive data set statistics. How many columns you have, how many rows you have, how many missing cells you have, what percentage of it's missing, how many duplicate rows. How many of those columns are numeric and how many are categorical? So for the dirty one, you can see that we have a couple of duplicates in there. We got three duplicates. We got a lot of missing data. So then secondly, if you look at alerts, these are all the things that they spotted wrong with your, your column. So basically potential alerts on each column. So you can see job description, high cardinality, it's very unique. Um, company name, there's some distinct values, but it's a high cardinality. So there's a lot of values there. Um, here you can see there's a high correlation between estimate min and maximum salary. Job description is relatively uniform and this is unique. So if we scroll down to variables, variables just represents each column in your data set. So let's look at the job description. So this gives you a lot of detail on the job description, how many distinct counts there are, what's missing. Let's look at something like our job title. We know that there's only data scientist, engineer, and data analyst. Gives you the instances of each of those, like a count. It's pretty cool. And you can do that for each of your columns. Let's look at minimum salary. This has got a distribution because it's integer, so you can see the distribution of data. Click on more details to get more information about the mean, the standard deviation, the histograms, common values, extreme values to spot outliers. And then, um, so you can do that for every one of your variables. And then at the end over here, you have your interactions. You can basically plot two numeric variables against each other. So you can basically see, uh, let's say, min salary, max salary. You can see that there's a strong positive relationship between the two. So th this section is about correlation to help you to identify various correlations in your data set. So this can help a data analyst to identify critical attributes for further analysis, things that the analyst wasn't aware that there's a correlation between, but here you can see that there's a strong correlation between estimate min and maximum salary. The rest, not really. And if we look at missing values, how many missing values that we have in the data set? 
And here you have um, a little breakdown of all your sample rows. Quite cool. And then at the top, your reproduction just basically gives you information when your analysis was started, where, how long it took, what version you use. If you wanted to reproduce this, then you can. All in all, this is, um, this is it for um, Pandas data profiling. It's quite cool. So I always do this before I work with any data set and send it on to any machine learning models or do any further data analysis. But this is a crucial step. Anyway, hope this helped you, give you new insight. BA Sensei, signing out.